Hi, and welcome back to Yoga with Tim. I'm Tim, this is Ollie, and he just got a haircut, so he's a little self-conscious about it. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Okay, so let's begin today's class with the legs crossed. We're gonna begin with just a little bit of seated pranayama or breathing meditation, and then we'll get into the practice. So first find your upright seat. Let your, the crown of your head balance right over top of the pelvic floor. Then staying upright, but not rigid, close your eyes. Gently start to chip your chin towards your chest, keeping your chest lifted and bring your hand up to your nose. Plug your left nostril and as you exhale, breathe out through the right obviously. Then breathe in through the right. Draw the breath down towards your belly. Plug the right, pause for a moment, and breathe out through the left. In through the left. Filling the lungs all the way up with ujjayi breath if possible. Plug the left, out through the right. One more round, slight constriction in the back of the throat as you breathe in. Plug the right, breathe out to the left. In through the left. Plug the left, out through the right. Lower your hand and just notice the effects in your body of breathing consciously, slow, steady breathing and that alternate nostril breathing. You might feel more balanced, calm. Okay, then open your eyes, but keep your focus inward. So even though your eyes are open, you're not um, fixing or hardening your gaze on anything. And then for today's class, I forgot to mention, you're gonna to wanna to have a strap and a block. So we're gonna start off with the toes pointing forward, and then you're gonna lower the knees down with the toes curled under. Uh, and you might be able to go down to a flat block. If it's too much on your knees, you can just go with your hands down like this. But if you can upright yourself cool, then take your elbows up overhead as you inhale. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, back up. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back up. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back up. Stretch your arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the side. Lift your heart up. Do a little back bend in your upper back. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, arms back up. Bring your hands down onto the ground. Move the block to the side. <clears throat> then with your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips, round your back and look back at your navel. Exhale. Inhale into extension. Exhale, chin to chest, then round your upper back. Middle back, lower back, tuck the butt. Inhale, chin away from the chest. Take the upper back into a back bend, middle, lower back. One more, this time start from your pelvis. And inhale. Then come into neutral. Curl your toes and stretch back into downward facing dog. As you inhale, glide forward into plank pose. Exhale, stretch back into dog. Inhale into plank. Exhale into dog. Now make your dog just a little bit shorter and bring your hands into the midline. So thumbs together. 
stretch back to down dog and with your right hand reach to your left shin inhale come back forward exhale stretch back into down dog left hand to your right inhale come forward and the hands don't have to stay super close together when you come back and forth two more rounds If it feels like it's too much on one shoulder, then you can just keep both hands down and keep breathing, going back and forth. And if you can walk it out a little further, ideally go into a full plank as you feel more warmed up. Good. Then walk your hands back to your feet. Fold forward at the back of your mat with a little bend in your knees. <clears throat> then hook your big toes with your hips wide apart. Slowly start to bend your knees so that the inner knees go onto the outsides of the elbows. Reach your heart forward and fold forward. Inhale, bend your knees, sit back like you're sitting into a chair, reach your heart forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sit back, flat back, wake up your spine. Pull on the toes, reach your chest. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Then bend your knees and roll yourself up one vertebra at a time. Bring your head right up on top. Let your arms relax, shoulders relax. And then we're just going to swing the arms side to side. Loosen the hips, loosen your ankles. So just let go of all rigidity in the body. Let your body empty. Any tension you're holding on to in the neck and in the shoulders, soften, just let the body move. And then hold in the middle, drop your right ear over to your right shoulder Circle your head around and we'll go in that direction three times. Change direction. Nice and slow, no rush. Then take your arms up again. Grab your elbows, bend to your right, bend to your left. Bend to the right, bend to the left. Come back up, take your arms up, inhale. Exhale, spread your arms out and fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands up the shins, make a flat back. Press your hands into your shins, lift your navel. Now I just want you to see something. If I try to bring my fingers all the way to the floor, can you see the round spot that comes into my back? So like in my head, I feel like, oh wait, I feel great. This is long, this is good. But I'm limiting the amount of spinal length that I can get. If I come up here, oh, then I can really get that part of the spine to participate. I'll start to make it healthier. So check yours out in a mirror and see if you can find what I'm finding. If, wherever you need to go. Walk your hands out. Now, as you warm up, it might start to change a little bit. Inhale into plank pose. Exhale, lower down onto your belly. Inhale into cobra pose. Press the tops of the feet down. Feel your groins release up to the ceiling until the thighs are in neutral, the knees point straight down. Firm, grow your legs out of your lower back. Reach your sternum forward. Then lower your chest back down, press up into plank pose, and stretch back into downward facing dog. Hold in your down dog, breathe in and out through your nose. Then one hand print at a time, walk your hands back to your feet, stay steady in your legs. Inhale, find the flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, 
Strong through your legs as you raise your, raise your arms up. Raise your arms up. Exhale, arms down at your side. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Walk your hands out, one hand print at a time. Lower slowly into Chaturanga. Press back up into plank. Lie down onto your belly. Inhale into Cobra Pose. Now stretch your arms back behind you. You can interlock your hands, or if you're in the Tight Shoulders Club, which I am, I have a gold member status to the Tight Shoulders Club, uh, then you can take the strap across the hands to help to externally rotate. Now what you don't want is your shoulders like this with your hands clasped. That's not doing anybody any good. So see if you can see how when I press out into the strap, my shoulder rotates. That's what you're looking for. So you turn on the external rotators, those muscles in your back that are mostly dead. They're uh, like turned off for most people. Lengthen through your tail, lengthen through your crown. Now see if you can raise your right leg up an inch, keeping your low back long. Soften the skin right at the pubic bone, back to the pubic plate, up to your heart. Change legs, raise the left leg up an inch. Back of the leg strong, neck long. Then raise both legs up an inch. Keep rotating your arms. If you have the hands on the strap, press into the strap. Then lower yourself back down. <clears throat> Inhale up into Cobra one more time. Exhale, lower down and press up into Plank Pose. Stretch back into Downward Facing Dog. Look in between your hands, step or hop up to the top. Inhale into the flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, root through your feet as you raise your arms. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower into Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now, if you need to modify that flow at all because of lack of upper body strength, low back pain, I'm going to show a modification on the next round. Look in between your hands, step or hop up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up. Press down through your feet as you raise your arms. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back into plank. Lower into chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So whichever flow works better for your body, and if you feel the quality of the movement start to deteriorate as we go through the class, you're welcome to go to the modified variation that I showed second. Look forward, step or float up. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now in dog, down dog, press down through your left toe mounds and raise your right leg up. 
but try not to let your pelvis open. Keep your hips level to the floor. Right pinky toe turned down. Push into your hands, grow that leg. Lift your hips up off of your left thigh and pull them back. Then as you exhale, bring your knee to your chest, shift into plank pose, round your back. Inhale, slide the knee down towards the wrist, make a flat back. Exhale, pull your knee back up. Inhale, slide the knee down. Exhale, pull back up. One more, inhale, slide down. Exhale, pull up. Step your foot up by your right thumb. Drop your back knee. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale into cactus arms. Bend the elbows, hug in the backs of the armpits. Inhale, your arms back up. Bring your hands down to the mat. <clears throat> Curl your back toes under. Lift your back knee up. Ground through your right heel. Then stretch your heart forward as you reach your arms back, but draw your right femur bone deeper into your hip socket and press straight down through your right heel. Set your left hand down and twist. Take your right arm up. Bring the hand down, step back into plank pose. Optional chaturanga push-up. Downward facing dog, stretch back. Raise your left leg up, reach down through your right big toe mound and the second toe mound, right? And then space in between there. As you pull the hips up and back, make sure that your ribs is, aren't tipped to the floor. Then shift in a plank, pull your knee up, bring your knee right up by your armpit, and then inhale, slide it down towards the floor, reach your heart forward. Exhale, pull up. Inhale, slide down. Exhale, pull up. Inhale, slide down. Last one, exhale, pull up. Step your foot all the way up by your thumb. Control your back knee down. Move the buttock flesh down as you lift through the pubic bone, draw up, raise your arms up. Bend your elbows out to the side. Open up your chest as you engage in the backs of the arms. Pits, that is. Stretch back up, inhale. Bring your hands down to the mat. Curl your back toes, lift your back knee, high lunge. Stretch your arms back behind you as you release your left femur bone back, deep in the groins, deep in the hip crease. Then lower your right hand down and twist. Take your left arm up. Bring your hand back down, step back into plank. Hold in your plank or do an optional chaturanga push up. Legs engaged. Stretch back into down dog. Bend your knees and look forward. Step or float up to the front of your mat. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Chair pose, sit back. Inhale your arms up. Stand, samastiti. Chair pose variation two. Raise your arms up, look up and touch your palms. Then keeping your heart shooting up into your hands, bend your knees. But keep going straight up. Then variation two, separate the hands, look forward and sit back more. Fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot, warrior one. Inhale, reach out. 
Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Reconnect to your breath. Bend your knees and look forward. Step or hop up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose. Stand, Samastiti. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Step or hop back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend knees, look forward, step or float up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Stand, Samastiti. Then step your right foot back about three and a half feet. Spread your arms out, warrior two. Turn the left leg in a little, turn the right leg out. Then as you ground your back heel, bend your right knee. This is gonna be the tendency to lean out over your right leg, to sink over it. Instead, reach into your back heel, open your left chest through the reach of your left arm. Keep your head balanced over your pelvic floor like we did at the beginning. So we have, we'll go into the subtle body. We'll see if we can feel energetically. Where is the highest point on my head? Where is the bottom of the pelvis right in between the organs of excretion and generation. That's a nice way of saying it. Keep your right thigh turned out. Extended side angle, place your hand onto the outside of your foot, block or floor, take your left arm over. Feel your lower belly soften back towards the spine, Uddiyana Bandha. And then as you grow your back leg through the reach of your back heel, reach past your left fingers. Don't let the belly harden out. Inhale, come back into warrior two. Straighten your right leg, turn your legs to the other side. Right foot angles in a little, left leg turns out. Ground your back heel, spread your arms and start to bend your left leg. Now keep that nice reach through the right chest, through the right arm, but your hips, they will stay angled slightly towards your left leg. Otherwise, if you try to turn your hips, this, oh, this is gonna be bad news for your hip.
Now, ideally, we want to start to move deeper and deeper into these poses, but not at the expense of sinking into our joints. So you should still feel like you can press even into your feet as you let the pelvis drop deeper. Then tip from your hips out over your leg, place your hand on the outside of your foot on the block, floor, or you can hold the shin, dragging the shin back, reaching the heart forward. It helps to give you a little feeling of traction. That's why I'm doing it today. So get that feeling of stretching and elongating. But notice how your lower belly and your diaphragm, diaphragm, I think is the proper pronunciation, doesn't harden forward. You have to pronounce the G. Reach through your hip, through your back foot, breathe through the core of your spine. Then come back up. Bring your hands down to the mat and step back, vinyasa. You can skip the chaturanga up dog and just go back to down dog if you like. Otherwise, throw it in and work on your upper body strength. Step your right foot for warrior two. Inhale to come up. Modified side angle, put your hand on the inside of your foot, block or floor. We'll open yourself up here and then wrap your left hand behind your back, half bind or full bind. Now it's important when you go for the full bind that you don't do this. Like, so yeah, I can grab my fingers if I stick my butt out and like fold forward, but then I'm not doing, that's a different pose. It's like a, I don't know, we call it something different, but it's not anything that you want to be doing a modified side. So instead guide your right outer hip towards your back heel and open up through the line of your back ankle again. And then we'll hold here for five more breaths. Then open your arms up and start to straighten your right leg out. But notice the more you straighten the leg, the more your back wants to hunch. So grow your spine as you straighten your leg and look to see that your right knee is pointing straight ahead and your hip is on a track with your ankle. As you bend your knee, slide your hand, maintaining that alignment, slide your back leg up. Now it's your call. You can hold here, or if you have the quadricep flexibility, bend that left knee, reach back with your left hand, take a hold of your foot, bring the heel towards the buttock, but lengthen through the hip and the buttock out of the lower back, stretch your navel up and roll your heart open. Open back up, stay steady. Easy for me to say, geez, <laughs> release that leg. Then bend your knee and slide back into Trikonasana. Bring your left hand down, spin your back heel up as you bend your right knee. Plant your left hand flat and twist. Take your right arm up. Then turn onto the outside edge of your back foot. Keep your heart lifting up. Hold here with this little hip opener or step your right leg back to stack on top of your left. Full side plank. From the side plank, you can hold there, or you can take your big toe up, or you can practice sliding your heel up the inseam of your leg for tree. Slowly with control, come back into plank, 
Take a vinyasa or stretch right into down dog. So one, one thing that's important when you're practicing is your dristi, focusing on your breath and staying present. Right when I started to follow the pose, I was thinking about what I was doing next in the sequence. Oh, I don't know if you ever try to think about anything else while you're practicing yoga. Step your left foot, warrior two. Come right up. Then modified side. So even I'll notice like with my local students, wrap your arm. If you think you know where I'm going next, because you like done my class so much, try to stay present, completely present in the pose. Just be there in that pose. Don't think about what's coming next. Don't think about how you want to go into Shavasana already. <laughs> stay as present as you can. Guide that outer hip towards your back heel. Stretch your back leg, breathe. Then open up your arms. Start to straighten your right leg. Oh, sorry, with the left leg, but make sure that the knee doesn't twist in. Your back doesn't hunch over, keep your length. Then bend that knee, slide your hand a foot in front of your foot, and keeping your leg on its track, raise your back leg. Don't let that left knee cave in as you go to raise your back leg. Hold there, or bend the back knee, and reach back to take a hold of the foot. Let the heel move towards your glute and then stretch the hip buttock out of your lower back. Move the tailbone out of the lower back and then roll from your navel up to your chest. Let your heart start to open. Open back up, fully present, bend your knee, slide into trikonasan. That was better. Bring your hand down, spin your back heel up as you bend your knee, plant your hand flat and twist. So turn on to the outside edges of the feet and you can hold here in this modified uh, side plank, or step the leg back and stack. Breathe through your nose. And you can hold the regular, oh, they chill out. You can hold the re regular side plank, or you could turn the big toe up and slide the heel up. Then slowly with control, come back into plank pose. And now your call, you can take a vinyasa or just go right back into down dog. And then step your feet forward. Lift your heels up, lower your buttocks onto your heels for molasan. Stretch your arms forward, let your head drop. Then bend your elbows back and let your knees hook way up high, the tops of the shins by the upper arm bones. Let your belly soften back. Let your whole skin on your back body open like you have a turtle shell. You let your turtle shell open. Now keeping that, lean into your hands and then see if you can keep your buttock low and lift your feet up. Then float back into Chaturanga or step back to dog.
And if the floating back, float, like hopping back bothers your wrist or shoulders, then don't worry about it. It's not something that's that important. Walk your feet forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale into chair pose. Stand, Samastiti. Come into Eagle Pose. So come to your chair, then wrap your left leg over your right and cross your left elbow under. Then uncross your left leg, tip into warrior three, arms back. Grow your hips out of your lower back, decompress your spine, push through your back heel like it's up against the wall, reach your chest. Then slowly with control, lower your left hand down and twist, take your right arm up. Step back in a twisted triangle. Bring your hand down and step back into downward facing dog or take a vinyasa. Bend your knees and look forward. Step or hop up to the top. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale into chair. Stand, Samastiti. Inhale into chair pose. Cross your right leg up and over your left. Right elbow under. If you can do the double cross with the arms, cool. My shoulders are so tight from surfing, I do this one. Then uncross your leg, tip into warrior three. Reach your hips out of your lower back. Drive through your back heel like it's up against the wall as you grow your spine long. Then slowly with control, lower your right fingertips down and twist, take your left arm up. Step back into Twisted Triangle. Bring your left hand down. Step back into Down Dog or take a Vinyasa. Then set your elbows down and come into down dog on your forearms or shirshas and headstand. So in forearm down dog, head stays up, toes curled under, legs go up. Practice holding like that and then raising one leg for five breaths and then the other. Headstanders, lower your head. Feel that energetic crown, on the head, crown of the head touching the ground, but stay light through your neck.
come back down. Take child's pose. Soup of your asana in preparation with your knees pointing straight ahead and the heels just to the outside of the buttocks, start to walk your hands back. Now, if this is too much on your knees, you can just do it with your legs out in front, like um, reverse plank. Whichever one you're doing, lengthen through your tail out of your lower back and then start to roll your chest open. Come back up, lie on your belly, bend your knees and reach back and go take a hold of your feet. Now, if this one is too gnarly on your lower back, just clasp your hands behind your back and with the legs straight, practice locust like in the beginning. Otherwise, start to stretch your legs as you roll your chest open. Release that. Roll into upward facing dog. Stretch back into down dog. Come to seated. Lie on your back. Bridge pose. Or holding your ankles, lift your hips up. Shatush Badasana. Now this one's a little gnarlier on your knees if you have bad knees. So if it's too much, just scoot your feet more forward underneath your knees and without holding your feet go up. Otherwise you could practice this one. Lower yourself back down. <clears throat> Then open your arms out to the side, cross right knee over your left, hips over to the right a little, let your knees fall over to the left. Bring your knees and your hips back to center. Change the cross of the legs, hips over to the left a little and knees over to the right. <sighs> Feels so good. Knees and hips back to center. Now I apologize in advance for this next part. Hug your right knee into your chest as you stretch your left leg out. Change legs, hug the left knee in, stretch the right leg. Change legs. Change legs. Crunch up. Now, as you hold the knee, stretch through the back of your spine away like your head is getting pulled back. Change legs. And when you go to change legs, don't let your lower belly harden up. And keep going now, side to side. This is like Pilates where you can do. But you can do that if it helps. Doing that breath is actually really good for activating your core. Hands behind your head will twist towards the knee that's coming in. You can use the exhalation through the mouth, making a or a sound. Helps to activate the core.
keep moving from your ribs instead of jamming your head towards your knee. Crunch up higher. Then hold the knees in tabletop. Lower both knees away from you halfway, but keep your abs in. See if you can go a little further. Don't let the neck get weird. Bring your knees back up. Lower a third of the way. Don't just lower the feet, lower the thighs. See if you can go a little further, hold those abs in. Back up, last one. See if you can tap the ground. Oh, back up, last part, crunch up. Stretch your right leg out and your left leg out to meet it. Bend your knees, set your feet down. Open your arms to the side and take your feet the width of your mat. Let your knees swivel to the right. And let your knees swivel to the left. <clears throat> come back up, roll yourself up, and now we'll come into single leg pigeon. this thing here do something with this okay so check it out the single leg pigeon is uh, a little risky on the knee so if you're feeling at all in the knee you can just do a simple leg fo simple cross leg forward fold or you can lie on your back and do ankle to knee pose otherwise work on the upright variation or you might be able to go down onto a block or even elbows onto the ground or for the very flexible people, you can lay all the way flat. Up to you. Come back up and change sides. Now I just would like you to remember that Many, many people who, do, who practice on my channel uh, tend to do other things for health as well. Like uh, a lot of athletes watch this channel, etc. And you shouldn't be so hard on yourself about flexibility, like being able to go towards extreme ranges of motion, because there's a certain uh, muscular tension required to do certain activities. Like, for example, runners uh, won't ever be able to develop the hip and hamstring flexibility that somebody that doesn't run and like only does yoga will be like bend forward and put their head on their shins or something. Um, that's just not going to happen because of the tensegrity needed in the hips and the hamstrings to create the balance when you run. So um, if you got super tight hips, but they're required for a sport, don't try to like jam yourself and move towards extremes that you see. Ultimately, I just want to encourage you to be okay with where you're at and just keep practicing and uh, being mindful that the poses that you're going towards, they're helping, it feels like they're creating health for your body instead of injuring yourself. Okay, now sit over onto your left hip, swing that leg around, cross the knees and sit up tall. Inhale, exhale, tip forward. Come back up, change the cross. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, tip forward. And lie on your back for Shavasana, course pose.
Just let your body relax now. Let go of the tension in your legs and your feet. Empty the hands. Let go of the arms and the shoulders. Hips soft, abdomen soft. Muscles in the back soft. Relax your chest. Relax the neck. Empty the jaw, empty the tongue. Let the eyes soften and release back. Let all the muscles in the face relax. And staying totally calm, soft. Bend your knees. Roll over onto your right side. And press yourself up to seated. Bring your palms together. Namaste. Hey, if you finished this video all the way, that's pretty amazing. Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're someone who is able to stick with this video, then I'm gonna highly recommend that you check out the Conscious Movement Community for an advanced variation of this class, where we do some side crow, some advanced arm balances, some advanced back bends. And also on there, you'll find, on the Conscious Movement Community, you'll find my arm balance series, the handstand course, all my workshops, tutorials, they're all on there and um, it's 15 bucks a month. I'm gonna give you over the next two weeks a free trial to check it out. So you have two weeks to see if you like it, see if it's something you're into. The link is below in the description. You just click the little arrow to open the description. It's the first link, it's called the Conscious Movement Community. If you can't find that link, you can just go to my website, yogawithtim.com, and then you can click in the top, the Conscious Movement link to find it there. Hey, do me a favor, take a moment to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. I was noticing about half the people who watch aren't subscribed. So dude, just do me a solid and subscribe and uh, hit the like button while you're at it. Thanks so much. I really appreciate you being a member of this community. I'll see you next time and uh, have a good one.